In this video, I'm going to demonstrate what is required for an end condition of a corridor or linear template to target a feature XYZ or a feature horizontal and profile location. Uh, in this example, we have two right-of-way features. So you can see in the dynamic cross-section view, my right-of-way feature that's here in plan is displaying in my dynamic cross-section. But I want my end condition to go from my edge of my hinge point to that location and target that right-of-way point that is the elevations of a terrain model. First, I'm going to look at the template to see how that is set up. So I'm going to come into the Open Roads model. I have this set up as a linear template. I'm going to look at the template that I have assigned, and I'm going to edit this template drop. Okay, so for my end condition, you see that I already have an end condition created. I'm going to edit the end condition properties, and I have this set to target an end condition linear both. The linear target is right of way LE which is this point here on my left side. And I have zero for my offsets because I want it to place directly on that location. Okay, so I have my end condition set up correctly. If I come in here and I test, if I draw this for this right-of-way feature, select draw, you'll see that it rubber bands to that point. So the template appears to be looking correctly, but it still does not solve in the corridor itself. So I'm going to say OK on this. So we have our right-of-way LE. That right-of-way LE has an active profile of FNC. So what is required to get this to work is we have to have the end condition targeting linear both. We need to have our right-of-way LE added in as a corridor external reference. And we also have to have the FNC, in this case, the active profile called FNC, has to be set up as a target alias for the linear both to work. That way it knows to target the horizontal R-O-W-L-E, and it knows to target the vertical profile. So I'm going to come into my corridor objects, and I'm just going to show that we have the external reference. I already have my right-of-way LE added in, okay? So the one thing that is missing is my target aliasing has to be set up. So I'm going to come into define target aliasing, select my linear template as the corridor, and for my target, I'm going to pick R-O-W-L-E because that's what is defined in my template for that end condition target. And I'm going to select my R-O-W-L-E FNC, so this is my horizontal and this is my profile. I'm going to say add and I'm going to apply. And once that is applied, now that end condition solves and it solves to that location. So not only do we have to set the end condition to target the linear, the linear both and have it targeting that feature, we also have to set the target aliasing for the profile to be recognized as a target alias. And that only works after we add in this right away feature as a corridor reference. So those are the three things that are really required to get the linear both in condition target to work on a corridor. 